Hello and welcome to this installation guide and review video featuring the dome glass screen protector from Whitestone for the iPhone X. Firstly you'll want to lay out all of the supplied materials, keeping them close to hand and ready for use as there are quite a few steps in this process when compared with other screen protectors. Once you've got everything out of the box and ready to go, you'll then want to ensure that the work surface you're working on is flat and sufficient for the installation process to take place. Even a slight incline can cause the adhesive liquid to slide off the foam completely during the installation process and thus cause the protector to not apply properly. My top tip is to take one of the adhesive bottles and see if it rolls. If it stays flat then you're good to go, but if it does roll then you'll want to find yourself a level surface before you begin. With a flat surface sorted you'll now need to grab one of the provided alcohol wipes and thoroughly clean the entirety of your iPhone X's display. You should pay close attention to the edges so as to ensure a perfect base for the protector to be applied to. After using the alcohol wipe you'll then need to use the microfiber cloth to clean and dry your screen before finally using the dust removal stickers like so. This will remove any final dust or lint that can be very annoying if not removed at this stage as no one likes seeing dirt or blemishes that they can't get rid of underneath their newly applied protector. Now that your screen has been thoroughly prepared, you will want to carefully place your iPhone into the provided installation tray. At this point make sure to place the top of your iPhone at the top of the tray mark speaker. With that done you can then place the ear speaker cover over the top section of your phone like so. This will then ensure that no adhesive gel makes contact with this part of the phone. Another new feature that Whitestone have added comes in the form of two absorption pads for you to place either side of your phone. These pads will help mop up the adhesive gel once it spills out from underneath the applied protector. Now you'll be free to take the top section of the tray and put it in place, matching up the speaker text as previously seen. I would also advise giving the screen a final check with the dust removal sticker at this stage so that you can be assured of a well prepared screen that's ready for the protector to be applied. The next step required is to insert the plastic pin into the gap like so, before then positioning the bridge into the area shown at the top section of the tray. Now take the adhesive bottle and remove the first cap. Make sure to remove the right end first as the second cap controls the liquid's release. You'll know which end to remove first as it's the different coloured cap which is also slightly larger as can be seen here. When the cap is removed you'll then be free to screw the bottle into the bridge like so. Don't worry about any spillage as no liquid can be released until you remove the second cap. By removing the second and smaller cap the adhesive will be free to run onto the glass. You'll want to leave this to happen for around 30 to 40 seconds so as to make sure that all of the liquid is out and on the foam. With the adhesive liquid resting nicely in the top third of your iPhone X's display, you'll then be ready to carefully remove the plastic bridge with the adhesive bottle still attached. Now you can turn your attention to the protector itself, leaving you free to remove the protective film from the protector by using the blue tab like so. Now you'll want to take the protector and drop it in place, starting with the bottom left corner first and then the top left. The top section will then fall in place onto the guided pin we placed in earlier so as to ensure alignment without touching the adhesive bubble. Once happy you'll then want to press on the bottom of the tray to slide the adhesive bubble into the centre of the iPhone X's display. When it reaches this point you'll then want to remove the plastic pin and stop pressing the bottom of the tray at the same time. This action will cause the protector to fall into place and allow the adhesive to spread throughout the entirety of your screen. You'll now need to allow around 80 seconds for the adhesive to spread correctly but you'll most likely be able to see when it's spread fully anyway. Now simply remove the top section of the installation tray like so before then curing the top part of the protector for around 15 seconds with the UV light. Once complete move the UV light down to the bottom section of the protector for another 15 seconds. After this time you'll then need to carefully remove the iPhone X from the installation tray and give it a quick wipe down before placing it on a flat open surface ready for the UV light to cure the top and bottom parts again. Now take the UV light and cure the top and bottom sections of the iPhone for a further 60 seconds each. This will complete the installation process allowing you to enjoy your iPhone X with the peace of mind that the screen protector will bring. You'll instantly notice a superb fit, look and feel, with no horrid glue marks that can often be seen on other protectors. You'll also notice the fully clear appearance which looks fantastic. While many other screen protectors use a black lining around the top, bottom and sides to hide the glue, the dome glass from Whitestone doesn't need to, thanks to the high tech insulation process which leaves the phone looking and feeling amazing. 
the protector is just as responsive as before, meaning that you can use your iPhone as you would normally, so you can type long text and play games with no issues at all. It's also supremely clear, with just as much clarity as before, which makes watching videos and browsing the internet a truly enjoyable experience. The protector itself is compatible with the majority of cases on the market today, but not all. I've tested over 20 cases thus far, of which I'll be showcasing in a separate compatibility video to which I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Overall, the protector may seem like a daunting proposition to install at first, but I genuinely found it extremely easy. By following the instructions I've provided, you'll be guaranteed of a well-applied screen protector that's easily the best available on the market today. It is a little bit expensive compared with other screen protectors, but the unique installation method really does ensure a quality fit every single time. I hope you enjoyed this installation guide and review video, if you have any questions then please ask away in the comments below, and if you would like to purchase this protector then I'll be leaving links for all countries in the comments and the description below.